So it's been two years since we came to Japan, and in those two years, um, uh, Raspberry Pi has become so so much more popular in Japan than we ever could have imagined. So I think the message to uh, Japanese Raspberry Pi fans is thank you. Um, you know, we hope you like Raspberry Pi too. Uh, that's our attempt to give you something, uh, you know, something better than what you had before. So yeah, thank you, and we very much look forward to coming back. Um, last time we were mostly, and we were in Tokyo and Osaka last time. We'd love to travel, but come back soon and travel much more widely. Come see see more Raspberry Pi fans in Japan. So I think it's the community. It's the main thing, you know, that we um, when we made Raspberry Pi, we didn't um, we didn't realize. We thought we would have to uh, build a market for Raspberry Pi. But what we found actually is there are lots of people like you guys who are already excited, you know, who um, who already wanted Raspberry Pi before it was made. So as soon as we made it, people suddenly like jumped on it and bought it. And this has happened all over the world. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably been the secret of Raspberry Pi's success, accidentally building something that everybody already wanted. Raspberry Pi is used in over 110 countries today. I see the sales figures. Sell the sales in over 110 countries. Um, we are very excited in particular about Raspberry Pi in Africa. We think that Raspberry Pi in Africa can be, there's a lot of people in Africa who've just bought their first television. Maybe it's a second-hand television, an analog television. And we think Raspberry Pi has got enormous potential in these developing countries to give people their first experience of owning a computer, just like we did back in the 1980s. The interesting thing about um, Raspberry Pi in poorer countries is that we don't actually generally do charitable work there. We actually sell Raspberry Pi. So our interest in those countries is in finding small entrepreneurs, um, uh, business people, who will um, uh, resell, the value-added resellers of Raspberry Pi. We think that's more sustainable. There are you know, so many people in Africa, we couldn't afford to give them a Raspberry Pi. But if we can build a local computer industry in Africa, then that has the, the ability to hit a million, 10 million, 100 million people over the course of the next few years.